Hello, this is Aussie Stitcher coming to you on the 17th of January 2017. Oh, we've only just got home yesterday for being a week away at my parents and that's like an eight hour drive. Just me and the four kids, so a little bit out to it. Kids are a little bit cranky. Um, wanted to get this video done because if I don't get it done today then just probably won't get done and I've got lots to do I'm getting ready for Jeff's parents coming out from Scotland and I've got so much to show there's a big massive pile over here and a little bit over there and it is just insane so um, Christmas was really good for us um, New Year was really good we had a very quiet one my parents came up for a week In randomly moved um, then it's school holidays here in Australia so um, the kids have been off we've done bits and pieces um, went to my parents while we're down there they live in a, a really small country town called Broom Hill we went to Denmark which is near Albany down the coast and we did the chocolate factory we did a honey farm and we did a maze and did not pick a good day to go. The kids, all of them, were in a really not good mood and it just ended up being really painful. Um, but it was good. Like, I got the honey that I wanted. We got to taste some very, very nice chocolate from Belgium. Um, then came home, caught up with some friends. Um, and then, yeah, yesterday I drove home, which ended up being slightly longer than what it normally is because Jeff asked me to pick up a couple of stuff for, the, for our farm. So we made, like, we, instead of coming home the normal route, I ended up going up uh, to Northern and then cutting across near Perth, which is our capital city, and then coming up a different way up. Sorry, with the fingers up north. Um, and I came home to so much stitchy mail and my husband going, hmm, what's all of this? And I'm like, oh, you know, this is stuff that I ordered like months ago and it's only just arrived. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm still doing Stitch from Stash. I haven't ordered anything um, in January. This is just all old stuff. So, um, just wanted to say, I watched uh, Stitch Reese's video today and she ate Vegemite live. Oh my God, girl, you had it on so thick. And... You did really well, even though you spat it straight back out. I think I would have done too, because that's even too strong for me. But awesome for giving it a go. Um, hoping your treatment goes a lot more smoothly. Hoping that the appointment lady gets a smile on her dial. Um, sorry about the glare. I didn't put makeup on. I am just tired. Will's been awake since 4.30. Um, slight rabbit trail. And then I did looked at my pantry, which is ridiculously small for a family of six living on a farm, but I reorganized that. And it is now 8.30 and I'm like, I'm gonna do this video so I can start doing other stuff. Um, but yeah, hope six weeks that everything goes a lot more smoothly. Right, I had a finish last year. So I'll show you that first, my last finish for 2016. really enjoyed it um, glad it's done glad I participated so if you want this I'm actually gonna have a go at framing myself with this because even though this is on hand dyed and it's a beautiful piece it's not as meaningful for me as some of my other pieces so I thought this well would be really really upset if it really went bad um, for me this is a good piece to try so I'm going to try that now on to wicks I stitched a bit more on Ada the garden fairy for my mother and this is stitched on 32 count Belfast on Dune by Chromatic Alchemy and she's still headless 
But what I did is I worked on the shoulder here, no, here, and out to here, and then I worked down here. Mm. Bit of out of practice, that's what happens. Really out of practice. It happens when you don't film for like a month, bar that one that I did just talking. Um, I also have been working on quite a fair bit. That's my needle. On my Joan Elliott Ladybird Fairy. So I've been working uh, over here. It was right here and in here. I've just got a little bit more to do and all these daisies are done. And then I'll start working on her dress a bit more. Finish the back stitch in the dress, the colours, and I'm not doing this very well. Just loving this, hoping this is a finish sooner rather than later. Yeah, I want it done. I'm really loving it. I want it done. I want to be able to put it up. I've also been working on the fantasy cell. I got December done. Changed it a little bit in here because I was so over those violets and the Pegasus has more to come started January I'm a bit behind Mama. that's what happens Mama. when you have seven days worth of solid swimming lessons straight Mama. after school finishes what's wrong Will? I'm gone. Oh gone and the swimming lessons wasn't rabbit trail in Morrowa the pool had been closed so we had to drive to the next town so that's an hour there and an hour back Mom. three hours of Mom. swimming lessons more well if you want to feed the baby you you've been in the girls makeup again haven't you yeah yeah um you need to ask for them to put water in because mummy's busy no. so when you're finished can you go and put water in this bottle for will thank you um Three hours there while the kids did swimming lessons. Michaela, who told me she didn't want to do it, did enough to pass stage one. Um, Sophie passed stage seven, eight, and nine. Hey. Sophie, hey. that was Sophie, Iona passed stage three. Worth doing. Um, so I didn't get much stitching done because we had to leave here by a certain time. Wasn't getting home until like close to five at night. Then got tea and I was tired tea, and grumpy. Tea, tea, tea. Um, my next one is the, this was my last start for 2016. I started at 11.30pm, because that's what you do, on the 31st of December. Um, and then it is the Dragon's Birthstone um, by Brittany. I'm doing this on 32 count Elsa. Um, Even Weave by Chromatic Alchemy and this is one of their seconds that they had in their sales that some hand dyes do and I won this so it's got a couple of little blue dots which I'll either if it doesn't get covered with the border then I might put a bead over it or you know change it up but that's what I've done I've changed the border and I'm doing that in classic color works ye old gold but i reckon that looks awesome oh and my needle minder is my new needle minder 
from Joe's Ditchy Stuff. Love it, Joe. Took two months to come. Good old mail, but I love it. Now, my last whip and my final... No, sorry, my first start of 2017 is Blossom Goddess. And I'm doing this hello. on, hello, picture this plus jazz uh, that I got in their sale. Another needle minder from Joe. What's wrong, Will? Yeah. I lost my bottle and I said no because it's special. Well, maybe he could just have it for a little bit. Really special, just, I know it's special. Um, <laughs> that was my start. And Michaela's determined to be as noisy as possible and as irritating as possible. Can you not blow, please? I asked you not to, not to blow. Okay, thank you. I will deal with it once I finish with this video, please. Off you go. Wait, this going to be a long while. No, it will only be longer if you inter keep interrupting. Now, please go. You, you just said that in two. Three, two, one. Don't be as well. Everyone, move away, please. All right, now we're coming on to haul. As most of you know, I had to reorder. Uh, portrait of Victor Rodinka. I also ordered South Seas Mermaid. And I ordered another one, but I can't figure out where I've put it. Um, I also ordered these needle minders from Joe. This one has a needle on it. Don't ask me why. These are just stunning. Hand is strong. <laughs> yep, don't try and take the needle off when there's a needle on it. Um, I needed to order, I had to order more um, of this before I started Dragon for something else, which I can't mention because I've got lots of kids around me. So, um, I ordered another four of these and I've actually, before midnight on the 31st, I had to do another stitch, another order from 123 Stitch, which was sent yesterday the 15th of January and I ordered another one of the Umbra for um, the Nora Corbett's um, reindeers because as people know in Australia, if you're going to order from 123 Stitch, you pile that bag as full until it goes over to the next limit, bag limit, because it is just makes it worthwhile. And then I ordered um, Holiday Express. I won't be making these into magnets. These will be going on my Christmas tree. Bumblebee in because my mother-in-law actually has hives. Hives as in beehives, not hive hives. Um, squirry, snowy owl, because that reminds me of Harry Potter, that one, pine cones, because we used to decorate pine cones, I put them on our Christmas trees, because they are out in Australia, candy canes, because she does not like eating candy canes, and I think these are worth for Rudolph, I ordered the beads for Rudolph. So I got the chronic uh, the 
Crystal Treasure 13062. Another one. A green packet. I'm really not going to name out the names. And then the red beads. And they sort of green. And. back in a couple weeks mm. now we've had a good time it's just it's hard doing videos yeah. with four kids mm. all right I want to say hi first well say hi hello they can't hi. see you hello, hello. And someone hello. has gone into the girls makeup mm. oh. off you guys go now mm. so I got my first sticky mm. box if you see my dress it's a big deal because it goes to a pair box um, and this was like a mini one for Christmas present mm -hmm. December which I got now which bodes well for what I'm going to get for the rest of them so I got this gorgeous little these ruby copper lined Some finishing off. Hi. Bad boy. And felt. Um, one eighth of 32 count linen colorway natural white petty by witchcraft. Witchcraft? Witchel? I've been wanting to try this, so I'm thinking ornaments for the Christmas tree. I'll give that a go. Um, DMC 4072. That's nice. Alright, I've had enough. Please move away, everyone. Everyone. Hi. Kenrick. Hi. Silk. Mori. Half Hi. a skein. I didn't realise Kenrick did these. They smell nice. And this one is. Oh, I thought that was the name. So that's 4036. And that's 117. And then we got the needle minder, which I really do like. I like that. That's very Celtic. And I might use that for my um, Scottish Chatelaine that I want to do. That is getting cut up by Color Cassades and a free chart. So that was pretty exciting. I am going to try to avoid as much of other other people's ones as possible, so that um, when they come in, that mine's slightly a surprise. But I've got a birthday one and the Valentine's one, and the Stitchy Box for January and February coming, probably all in the end of February. So I'll have three. Now I've got my order. From Stitching Petrunia. Oh my god, I love these bags. Love them. I ordered one in this. It's the leather one. And I've put in Snow Queen. Don't ask me why. I thought I might put something pink in there, but I went with that one. Love it. Very sturdy. Like it's quite sturdy um got the ferret these ones is the ones i really wanted the ones with the names on them i love these so i've got the fairies in this one and i put in joan elliott's christmas blue angel i'm not a fairy but it's not like i don't have a lot of fairies but i just realized i didn't really have any joan elliott's and I wanted one. I got the mermaid one. And I've only got one mermaid going. And we all know which one that is. Don't mm. we, Sophie? Yeah. And it's kind of fitting because Stitching Petunia was the one that kind of enabled me. I had this and I was going to sell it. 
and then I saw her finish and it made me decide to keep it. Good job. So. And then we've got the monthly one and I've chosen to put the new Frosted Pumpkin monthly sale, which I haven't started but it's in here. Because I just got home yesterday. Did I mention it already? It's insane. And she so sweetly put in these for our, I'm guessing what I would use them for is, I suppose you can put them in these things. I put cups on them. What are they called? Cup holders. Yeah, thingies. Oh, I know what I forgot to get. Can you go and get me what Grop has made me? No, the little box that he made me. Um, she also put in her sandwich bags, which the girls are fighting over because they all love the same one. That's William's. Why don't you be over there somewhere? How awesome. Thank you, Stitching Petunia. I love these and I love these and it was so sweet of you to put these in. And ah, oh, they are awesomely made. I have to show you this off. My dad does woodwork and we have a lot of woodwork of his. We've got um, bookcases and all the kids' beds are made by my dad. And their desks, they've got proper beautiful wooden desks with three drawers. They've got bedside cabinets made by him. I have a bed made by him as well. I mean, that's in the spare room. We've got countless of coffee tables. And then he made me this for my stitching. He's also made me, um, if you want to grab the small one, you can, I'll show them. Okay. Um, cross stitching frame. But this is to put my stitching goodies in. How awesome is that? It's pine, real pine. Um, he stained it. We have a thing, you do not paint wood in this household. If you knew how much wood cost, you don't paint it. It's just... But yeah, so this will be my little go-to stitching box. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, last of the haul. Oh my God, this is probably going to be my longest video yet. Needle minders! Now, bear in mind that there's a lot here. Some of these are gifts that I got. This is... The reason I had to do another order with Julie from Nifty Needle Nannies. Love her. This is staying. Might end up in my fridge though. So I got cross stitch, a people who count. Um, I stitch to keep the voices quiet. I cross stitch so I don't kill people. Stitching forever, housework whenever. My husband saw that and went, no. He's OCD and he married me. More for him. Shows you sometimes that love is blind. <laughs> and then I got these because I had nothing really boy and I want to do William stuff. Um, these because they reminded me of my girls, each different ones. Um, thongs because we're in Australia. Coffee because, hello, I drink a lot of coffee. Eel and Tigger are one of my favourites. I can't remember why I got that one. It's probably a gift. And then Julie sent me a couple of green ones. Love these. Now, I'm going to move slightly. Excuse the mess. Just please remember. That is what he made me. And I've got one larger. Put it down, Soph. I can't. I just on the bottom. So it goes all the way down. And I've got one twice the size of that. I'm going to move you back because that's getting a bit thin that um, he made me for my heaven and earths. Awesome. He's so talented. Awesome. They're going to be kept forever, passed down. Um, and just, yeah, he's done one for my sister, a couple for my mother, and um, sister-in-law. Sorry. That I forgot, just tired and sorry if you happen to ever watch this, I didn't deliberately forget you. And I got my order last lot of needle minders from No Name Needle Minder. This is my first buy. Some of these are gifts, 
Um, I won't be buying anything because I'm doing stitch from stash, so really. Buy, the buy that parcel that I'm waiting coming from 123 Stitch and my Lowy stench. Put on the Chaboy Lowy stench. Thank you, Garrett, coffee stitcher. Saw it. Had a chat to hubby. He thinks I'll be more sociable if I owned it. Because <laughs> I sit at the table and stitch at night. So he's like, yeah, if it makes you more sociable and sit closer to me, buy it. Awesome. Did it in a heartbeat. So I got all these beautiful ones. I love them. I got um, the Doctor Who one. I got a whole heap of Doctor Who. The free little gingerbread man. These ones. I got the print in them princess sizes. I didn't want them too big. And then I got more Doctor Who. These ones are staying with me. They're not going anywhere. And I got these beautiful trees. And oh my goodness. No. I do have something else to show. Um, I got wrapped in December by a beautiful person who wrapped me a heaven and earth design which I can't bring up but it's I don't know if you're gonna come around come around don't stick your head over <laughs> um, it's the ones that have like believe in yourself and those ones they're quite small um, I will be starting that soon um, I also brought robots from a lady an alphabet robot that I was gonna do for Will um, can't think of her name on top of my head. I bought it ages ago, but I keep forgetting to print it off to show. Um, if I don't mention it in this one, I will definitely look it up. It's an eBay. She's from the UK. I got talking to her on a hangout, um, when we were doing Sitch from Stash right at the beginning when it first started. Um, she's got some pretty good, good designs too. Do, 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 do. If I caught up on anything. I think that's it. This is going to take like 10 hours to upload because it's nearly 30 minutes. Welcome to living in the bush. Um, so, thank you again for all the subscribers. I'm up to something like 640. Um, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Can you hop down please, Iona? That's kind of... Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for... Yeah, everything. Think it's been fun. First proper floss tube video for 2017. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll do one a fortnight. I'm going to do one when the kids go back to school on the 1st of February. And then I've got to drive to Perth on the 2nd of February to pick up my in laws. And then we're heading to Calberry for five days. We got an awesome, awesome deal. Yeah, the kids go back to school for three days and then we pull them out for five days to go to Calberry to spend time with their grandparents. We managed to get a two-room cabin for, you know, two adults, me and my husband, four kids, $79 a night. Pools, tennis courts, right across the beach. I thought it was tennis. Uh, awesome. I thought Can't it was cricket. wait. No. Might be watching tennis today. Australian Open started. Oh, yay. Can I turn it on? Uh, no, not yet. Can I watch so, TV? No. So... Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's it from me. Bye. Bye. Thank you Bye. again. Bye.